Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to, this is for Steam user, disable or enable the Steam input. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to controller tab, over here, uh, select disable Steam input and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even enable Steam input and check which one is working fine for you. Now, the next step is to non-Steam users add Battlefield 6 to Steam. Now for this, go to Steam and then click on add a game over here. Add a non-Steam game. Then click on browse over here. And then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program files. In my case, it is in EA games. I have the game on EA app, so you can open program files, then open EA games, then open Battlefield 6 folder. Select the game exe file and then click on open. And once it is added over here, now click on add selected program. Now once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game from Steam and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to also make sure Battlefield 6 and EA app is closed before you launch the game. So if the game is running, close the game. If EA app is running, close the EA app and then you launch the game from Steam and then check. Next step is to, again for non-Steam users, add EA desktop app to Steam and then launch EA app from Steam and then launch Battlefield 6. Now for this, you can again uh, click on add a game, then click on add a non-Steam game and then uh, over here, if you see EA app, you can select EA app and then click on add selected program or else you can click on browse and then go to this PC, C drive, program files x86, I think. No, uh, program files only. Yeah, and then open electronic arts folder, EA desktop folder, EA desktop and then find EA desktop over here and then click on open. Once the once it is added over here, now click on add selected program. And once the game, uh, the EA app is added over here, now make sure EA app is closed if, if it is open. Close EA app and then you have to launch EA app from Steam and then launch Battlefield 6 and then you can check. Next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. Now this is for Steam users. At the top right here, you can see the big picture mode icon which says enter big picture mode. Click on it. Now, once the steam is in big picture mode, then you can, now you can select the game over here and then you can launch the game when the steam is in big picture mode and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update controller using PlayStation or Xbox, Xbox accessories app. Now, if you have Xbox controller, then open Microsoft store on your computer and in the search box, type in Xbox accessories app and then click on Xbox Accessories app. If Xbox Accessories app is not installed, you can click on Get option over here. If it is already installed, then you can open Xbox Accessories app. Now, once installed, launch Xbox Accessories app, and then you have to connect your Xbox controller using the USB cable. You have to use the cable to connect the controller to the computer. Then only it will direct over here. So let me connect my control controller now. So once the controller is connected, uh, it will direct your controller. You will see your controller over here. Now click on these three dots. And then if there is any update, you will see update now option or update. And then you can update your Xbox controller and then you can check once done. Now, similarly, if you have PlayStation controller, in that case, you can use PlayStation accessories app. Open, you can search in Google and then go to PlayStation website, go to the official website. And then you can download the PlayStation Accessories app from the website. So run this exe file. Now you have to connect your PlayStation controller. Now, once connected, uh, you will see if there is any update option, you will see update option option over here in my case it is already up to date once your controller is updated now you can launch the game and then you can check
Now still not working. The next step is to enable and configure controller in sound control panel. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and this is for uh, PlayStation controller user, uh, PS, PS PlayStation controller user. Now for this you can go to hardware and sound and then you can click on sound option. And then you have to connect your controller using the cable. You have to use the wired connection over here, wired connection. So connect the cable, uh, connect the controller using the cable. Once, uh, once the controller is connected, see your DualSense wireless controller over here. Uh, make a right click and if this is disabled, then you have to enable it. Make a right click and enable. If it is disabled, then you have to enable it. Once enabled, make a right click once again and then go to properties. Uh, sorry, make a right click and this time click on configure speakers and then quadraphonic and then next and finish quadraphonic next. When you click on next, if you see that uh, front, left, right, or um, if there is any option over here, then you have to uh, put a check on both the boxes and then you have to click on finish option. So let me try it. Make bigger quadraphonic next. Now make sure front, left, and right option is checked, and then surround speaker is checked over here. And then you have to click on next. You have to click on quadraphonic first, and then you have to you will get this option. Now click on next, click on finish, and then you have to relaunch the game, and then you can check. Sure to disconnect if you have any external devices connected like uh, if you can you can disconnect mouse and keyboard uh, just uh, when launching the game like you can always connect later on if you have extra controller connected to the computer uh, like um, extra controller sometimes we have uh, two controllers connected if you have the USB dongle connected any kind of USB adapter connected disconnected if you have any virtual controller uh, like Bejo, etc., you can just dis disable it or uninstall it. If you have any other external devices like if you have wheels, hotas, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it and then launch the game. The last step is to use the wired connection. So if the wireless connection is not working, you can connect your controller using the cable and then you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.